Hey everybody, what an I am. So this is about to be a story time because I just received um, an email at my forehead and I at gmail uh, dot com um, email address. So it goes like this: It says, "Hey forehead, when you made that video about all your exes <laughs> has something in common, you never mentioned what they had in common." I thought I did, but okay. I'm struggling with the same thing, so could you let us know what happened and what and how you overcame it? I don't mean to be all in your business, but I got to know. <laughs> and I don't mean to be all in my business. Now, that's cool. You know, this is the platform for it. So, um, <clears throat> in that video, <clears throat> I thought I did explain about what they all had in common, but I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. Uh, I'll make this real simple. Uh, this is a story time. Boom, here we go. From 14 years a slave... To the last person I was in a situation ship with, or whatever type of ship that was, you know, um, all of them had two things. Well, I had something in common. They had something. In, I had something in common with them, and they had something in common with me. The first thing that they all had in common was, oh God, these emails. All right. The first thing that they all had in common is that they all had some type of brokenness. Right. And what I mean by that is this, is that me, I'm, I'm an empath. I'm a person. I'm a feeler. You know, I'm not a person that needs concrete evidence for things. If I feel it and it's a strong gut feeling like God's talking to me, then that's then that's what that is. You know what I mean? And I can feel that they all had some type of brokenness and the brokenness had to be deep because I was able to feel that a lot. A lot of us are walking around here with, with, some, with some type of brokenness. You understand what I'm saying? But for me to be able to feel that speaks volumes to me like okay and then me where i mess up is that now it's like I'm, a, I'm i'm an aries you know i believe in my sign and it's like it's like challenge like okay this is brokenness i got to fix this because i want you i want you i don't care if you don't want me i want you and that's another thing I'm, i'll get back to i gotta remind myself about the let me write that down real quick about the wanting this okay so it's like, I've been out, I can see that, bro that brokenness within them. It's like, okay, challenge. This is a challenge for me. Like, yes, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to fix you. I'm going to fix that brokenness. And I'm going to love on you because I love love. I'm going to love on you because you obviously you need it. You understand what I'm saying? But just because somebody needs something doesn't mean they're able to receive it. We about to get surgical with this shit. Another mistake that I made that I, that I noticed, right? And this is something that I am just now learning. I'm just now realizing this after the last situation. I'm just now realizing this. And that's this is that. Oh, God. Okay. Let me just mute these emails for a second. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. Let me just mute this. Okay. What is going on, guys? And the second thing is that from the first relationship, okay, you know, getting disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Getting uh, abused, getting all, all type of stuff. Uh, like, you know, choked out, slapped, spit on, disrespected against, losing jobs, uh, sending people, sending me to jail. You know what I'm saying? And that, instead of learning from that, right? Hear me out. Instead of learning, learning from that, it built up a tolerance, right? So, Moving on to the next relationship. So in this relationship, a different type of disrespect happened. I'm like, no, I, I can handle this. I can tolerate this. Because I didn't tolerate somebody disrespecting me. I didn't tolerate somebody spitting on me. I didn't tolerate somebody. All of that stuff. I didn't, I didn't tolerate. I mean, that relationship was so tumultuous that I became abusive. I became the abuser. I was the abusee and became the abuser over time. Check it out, right? So going to the next relationship. Oh, well, well, this person got this going on or that going on. Or, well, hey, well, well, you relapsed and, and now and all, all, this, all of this stuff is happening. But I'm like, no, I got the tolerance. So I didn't been through worse. I didn't been building up tolerance, building up tolerance. Now, let's fast forward all the way to the last one. Building up tolerance that, you know, about it's different ways in being disrespected. Disrespect looks very different to, to, yeah, to everybody. Like, disrespect is received differently. The disrespect, you know what I'm saying? Within the now, you disrespectful, I'm disrespectful, the whole shit's disrespectful. Now, I realize I, this, I'm taking my tolerance into every situation, and that's not cool. Because let me tell you this. All the, all the, but from 14 years, of, I'm not going to include 14 years of slave. No. From after 14 years of slaving on, every, and I know, and this was so heartbreaking for me to, for me to say out loud, but I'm going to say this because I don't know who this can help or who can resonate. Every, and I want you to think about this, every relationship after 14 years of slave, because I went through the ringer with that. We, uh, the, oh man, oh, whoo, Lord, I'm just so glad to be delivered. You don't understand. You, all my friends can tell you, girl, girl, she went through some shit with him, you know, <clears throat> excuse my language. Is that all the foundation of all those relationships after 14 years of slave, the foundation was built off of tolerance. 
I'm going to run that back. The foundation of all the relationships from after, from after 14 years of slave to the last person that I was dealing with was all based on off of tolerance it was all based off the foundation the foundation of it wasn't strong because it's based off of tolerance because the disrespect happened early see i'm i'm one my, my god i'm mean, I tell you my god the god of my understanding be talking to me and i'll be like i'm tone deaf i can't hear you my weave is in the way and i refuse to move it you understand what i'm saying and that's what causes me to go through all of these trials and tribulations i'm grateful for it because i'm able to now teach somebody else i'm able to use my experience to coach you like you don't have to do this you got to realize it though first. I didn't realize that all my relationships, the foundation, and that's why a, a foundation of tolerance is so unhealthy. It will never work. It will never last. Because I'm so, oh, I, can, I can tolerate this. I can handle this. I can take this. That's not really a strength. That's a weakness. You know, love, I would love people to my own detriment. Because I'm like, I can tolerate it. I can take it. I'm a strong black woman. Come on. Come on. So that's what they all had in common. Each and every one of them had brokenness that I wanted to fix. And that's something I got to work on myself. I don't have, I shouldn't have to want to fix you. Like I have a, I have a, I'm like, oh no, I got to fix you. I gotta, it's like a challenge. Like, yeah, I could do this. I could do this. And another thing, back to the wanting, right? This is a lesson in life that I, I, I recently learned. And I'm going to take this with me throughout my whole life. And I'm going to share it with you right here today. Mm, that turmeric and ginger. I took a turmeric and ginger shot. It's the, it's the residue is disgusting. Um, this, um, what was I saying? Okay, about the wanting, right? What I realized was this, was that I want to be with the person that likes me, not the person that I like. I'm going to run that back. I want to be with the person that likes me, right? That really likes me and not the person that I like. And I'm going to tell you why. Because th what happens is this, is that the one that likes you is going to treat you nice it's going to do nice things. for. It's gonna, that person is going to love on you the way you... I mean, it's, it's, uh, listen. I'm not saying everything's going to be peaches and roses. Because no situation is ever all peaches and roses. What I'm saying is this, though. The person that likes you has your best interests at heart. The person that likes you will, will go the extra mile for you. The person that likes you will show you that they like you. Right? Because you keep... So a lot of people be confused. You think people like you. And they really don't like you. They really don't like you. They're either in competition with you. Jealous of you, feel some type of way about you. This is the truth. I'm telling you, this is real life experience here, baby. And I, and I just realized this, that a lot of people that I liked didn't like me. And me, I'm thinking about, about it as a challenge. Like, okay, I'm going to make you like him. 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 So I'm going above and beyond. And the one that liked me, I'm overlooking, treating like doo-doo. Some of us got to change our preference. It's not for you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us play the Visual Olympics out here. That, I was one of those people. Man, you look good. It's like, oh my God. I don't care what you did. I don't care. You just you are you are giving me all the visuals I need. I love all of this. You understand what I'm saying? It's not real. So I say that to say this is that a lesson that I learned was that like the people that like you. Like the people that like you in real life. And know what that means to like you. Like the people that like you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you do, you go above and beyond for a person that don't like you. A lot of us do it all the time. It's so toxic. I don't know why. It's so toxic. You do, you go for hell out of water for that toxic shit. But the one that really wanna, the real, one that really wanna be with you, the one that really wanna treat you nice, you overlook. What does that say about yourself? That says that you don't like to be treated nice. And I had to realize that, like, I be like, oh God, please send me somebody nice. Please send me, send me somebody nice. I ask them, you send me somebody nice and why I don't like them because of what? Oh, that shit corny. That shit whack. Nah, I gotta change your preference. That is corny and it's whack. You're corny and you're whack. How you wanna ask for something when God deliver it to you, you don't want it? Now, I take that back. Take that back. I didn't want it like that. You didn't want it like that. What? So I said that to say this. Back to the original question was what they all had in common. They all exhibited brokenness that I wanted to fix so that teaches me something about myself that I no longer want to fix anybody's brokenness you know what I'm saying you that's something you got to be working on actively like if you're working on that we can we can support one another but I don't want to be the one to think I need to fix it and that says something about me I always want to fix something I need to sit, sit my fixing ass down you don't got to fix shit and what it does is that 
do those and also in those relationships and i'll take account see this is a tech taking accountability a lot of people don't know how to do this and i've learned you know and this is all recently that this is happening to me you feel me is that i had to learn to take accountability for my actions and my part in the relationships that I play. And what it is is that instead of like, for me, I always would move to one relationship to the next, one relationship to the next. Not giving myself time to breathe, think nothing. It's like, oh, down to the next, on to the next. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just like that build up a tolerance. Like, okay, I can take this. Like, you can treat me like this. Oh, it ain't nothing because I can take it. Oh, you can have girls call my phone. Oh, this stuff, I, I can take it. I can deal with that. I can deal with that shit. I got punched in my face. I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I got eight towns stomped in my chest. I can deal with that. I almost got choked to death. I could deal with that. I, somebody just sent me to jail. I can deal with that. You shouldn't live your life. I can't say shouldn't. It's not conducive to live your life off of I can deal with that. Let's change the narrative. You ain't got to deal. You don't have to deal with anything. Just because you went through something don't mean you got to repeat it and go through verse. So I'm glad that you asked that question. I hope what I shared help somebody or whatever it is that is that is going to do. I would say this. like, If you're an empath like myself. And you notice that brokenness. Sometimes a lot of us. And my best friend, my sister taught me this one. And I'm going to leave y'all with this jewel that she gave me. Stop over relating to people. Just because y'all went through the same shit. Y'all was in the same hood. Y'all had the same thing. That don't mean a goddamn thing. Stop over relating for people. Because then you start loving them to your own detriment. Because you want to fix them. Because you see that they're broken. And that does say something about you. Like, wow, you're willing to give something that you ain't even got. So not that you at zero. You can do at negative 40 at this point. Let people work on their own brokenness. Stop feeling like you got to fix things. You don't have to fix anything. You, you, are, you are your own inside job. And that, that's what they had in common. They all exhibited some type of brokenness. I mean, a brokenness that I could feel. Like, that's, why, that's why I do my job well, because I could feel my clients. I could feel that shit. I know. I, know, I could feel it. I, can, I, I swear to you, God has given me that gift, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Because it, <laughs> what I do, it, it makes my job. And my job is not even a job to me at times. Yeah, it could get really tumultuous and stuff like that. However, listen, I could feel that. And I could feel their brokenness. And a part of me was like, no, I'm going to light up your life. I'm about, to, I'm about to illuminate your shit. But to my own detriment. So that's what they had in common. Each of them were broken. And for me, my accountability about it is that I just built up a tolerance instead of just letting it go. Dropping off that baggage instead of carrying it into the next relationship. And I didn't even realize I was doing that until the last, until this last one. That it was a tolerance. So it's like the moment I seen that I didn't like something or it was a reminder of something. Because there were many things that, that she reminded her, some of her actions reminded me of. Like the, not me not speaking to you for, for three days. You understand what I'm saying? Me, you know, me knowing you, you telling me you, you love me, but not, you don't love me enough to not deal with anybody else to make it exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Like, like stuff, like stuff like that, just tolerating certain things, certain behaviors, all the way, just tolerating it. And I didn't realize that I had built up a tolerance so crazy that it was just like, wow, like, I, I like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. Like, what's going on? And then I lost my shit. You know what I mean? And you know, all of that wasn't for her. Some of it was. But all of that wasn't for her. That's that's on me, you know, because it was a it was a tolerance. It was a buildup. Like, OK, 